what we will do today is we look into this center here, the computer. We didn't look at that one yet. So what is actually going on here? Well, in machine learning, there is some learning going on. But how is this learning happen? Well, the most promising solution, promising solution we ran into here has to do with neural nets. And that has been inspired of how the brain learns as well with neurons. And so neural nets is a subset of machine learning. And it's inspired by the brain. Some of the pioneers, for example, Jeffrey Hinton, one of the, the three so-called godfathers of neural nets, has always, it was always inspired for the last 40 years to understand how the brain works. That was actually the main motivation, not to build fancy computers, but to understand how the brain works. Turns out, we find out that these machines use neural nets differently than the brain does. This is the solution that Mother Nature came up with in how to use neural nets to compute with tireless, blind tinkering, mutation, selection, retention, and the evolutionary algorithm. But there are other neural network designs that we can use. And the most promising here is also very similar to actually what the brain does. And that has to do with deep neural nets. So neural nets, you can have basically an input layer and then you have some, some layers in the middle and you have an output layer and that's already a neural net. But a subgroup of neural nets is called deep learning, deep neural nets. And that basically means is that there are several layers here in the middle, it's deep. So you get some input into your neural net and then you have different layers of neurons that you process information with until you have an output, you reach, reach some kind of conclusion. So we have AI and a subgroup of that is machine learning and a subgroup of that is neural nets and a subgroup of that is deep learning. That's how all this letter soup <laughs> hangs together. Now, why stop here? There are also different kinds of deep learning. For example, recurrent neural nets. They are very much used uh, in, in speech recognition, for example. Actually, it's a subset of recurrent neural nets, which are called long short-term memory. And we will get into that, so, so no worries. But there are also other ones. For example, there are convolutional neural nets, which are used for image recognition. So when you speak with digital device, it's usually a recurrent neural net, and when you see some image recognition or you do something with images, usually a convolutional neural network. And then, of course, there are the transformers, the large language models, and we will work our way up to that. These are the BART and the chat GPTs and the I don't know what. These have been the two pioneers in that in that field. And they basically came to the conclusion that it's all that it's all language, that with language, we can we can solve many, many problems. So Let's go step by step and look into some of these deep learnings, because that's actually what most of when people say AI, they say that this data input and this goal output gets transformed. Often, especially these are the huge companies, you need a lot of data. So the big companies then do deep learning and that computes, that's the master algorithm. The deep learning is actually the master algorithm that computes the best way of going about it.